Good morning everybody. I am down at Paul Thalstock again. Um, as you can see, or as you'll shortly see, the sea's completely flat. There's like zero swell. It's a really light wind today. So, uh, should be no chop on the water. And the tides, while they're not massive, they're not tiny. So there is potential for some fish today, definitely. Plus we've had really crap weather all week, so I don't think many people will have been out fishing on uh, on these inshore reefs. So yeah, fingers crossed, we're gonna catch, well, fingers crossed we're gonna catch. Um, we're about three hours before high, so we'll fish the last of the flood. Then we'll see what happens. I might head back in for some scran and then uh, come back out again for round two, but let's see what happens. I've just dragged the kayak down on my bloom wheels, which I modified the other day, and the trip down the beach was silky smooth, so I suppose the proof will be in uh, dragging it back up the beach. I'm confident it's gonna be money well spent. Anyway, I'm gonna head out to probably the deeper bit of the reef because the conditions are so nice. Troll a lure on the way out. I will pick it up if anything takes the lure or when we get to where we're going. Right, we've pedaled out to where I want to have a go. So you're joining me for the first drift. I'm going to work out where this drift is going to go. I've got a Savage Gear V2 sand eel on here in the khaki colour on my little Abu Garcia Never Give Up Gen Ike bait casting setup. So let's have a little bash, work out what way we're going to drift. I'm in some deep water actually, 35 metres here, but there's a. I'm hoping we're going to drift up on this big lump in a minute. I might have to put a bigger weight on if I'm ever going to get to the bottom of a bigger lure. Work out where this drift goes. There's a giant shoal or something down there. I'm doing 0 0.6, 0 0.7 knots. Looks like the wind's pushing me basically. Yeah, away from where I wanted to go. <laughs> because it is. Totally gonna miss that. Well, that's not terrible. I can, um, that is a colossal shoal or something. So, I've been fishing two minutes. I already know I need a heavier lure and what way the drift is going. I'm going to reset this drift, put a bigger lure on, I'll be back. Right, having a go with something else. I've got a little scarce eel on a Portland rig on my rarely used Savage Gear, whatever it is, jigging rod. With my Gomexus. Jigging reel. But as all I ever do is lose jigs, I tend not to use them now. Oh, at last! Ah, oh, you sad. <laughs> oh, fish. Yes! Yeah, it's not bad fish. Well, so far it's the only fish.
Oh, you mother! That adds some weight as well. I was about to say that adds some weight. Right, well, I just thought I'd change tack because I was getting nowhere. Come over here and look for some bass and look what I found. Believe it or not. Yeah. Ah, perfect. I reckon then. Bass everywhere, but looking at that sounder, can you see that? Look at that. He's not big enough, but uh, I'm gonna have to go for a picture off the hat because my other camera battery's run out. There we go, put him back. Laughing. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna have a few lobs about here. It'd be nice to get a decent bass. It's always nice to get a bass. It was nice to get decent bass, obviously. I haven't blanked, I've got one bass, but... You know, always want more. And get right in a bit closer. See if I can uh, chuck this in between them. Try have a whack over there a minute. Don't mind me, birds. Oh, that's exactly where I'm going to cast, stupid birds. Oh, might catch this wave here.
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to circle this, do a couple of laps of this. Because I'm convinced there's going to be some bass around here. So I'm going to do a couple of laps. Ah, boat over there. You might not like it. does actually piss on my couple of laps plan. Maybe it's time for a new plan. Maybe I won't then. Right, I've changed the batteries on my cameras and I've pedalled over to a, you know, a different bit of reef. It's a little bit shallower, uh, it wasn't working for me over there so I'll come over here and see if anything's going to happen on this bit. So as I'm down to my last two batteries, I think what I'll probably do is just switch these off and bring you back if anything happens. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's going to be a video with one fish in it. Don't know where my mates are in their little sieve. Gone quiet. Oh yes, okay, got that one. Yeah. He's off. <laughs> okay, this could be this could be one for the freezer. Yep, recording. There's quite a few fish there actually. There's loads of fish down there. I'm going to put a little, a little mark there. Come back round for that, I reckon. Hold this one up for you guys. There he is. I don't know how he's... Ah, it's your lucky day. I'll keep the next one. 
Right, I'm going to do this drift once more and then make my way back to the shore. I might have a pit stop, something to eat and whatnot, and then get back out and uh, try my other, my usual spot. Sun's out now. Turning into a very nice day. That's a hit. Just a tiddler. Alright. Oops. Okay. Just a tiny one. Come on, off you get. I don't know how many more fish this lure's got in it, but it seems to be the one that's doing the biz. And then that knackered up there, you lose, or I lose confidence and everything. think all it takes is one little nip and it's dragged off the hook and it's not going to catch or fish. But do I swap it out for something that so far hasn't, this has been the only thing that's consistently worked. I don't think I've got anything similar. Yeah, I'm going to swap it out. Until I've got a chance to glue it. Still have had a chance to glue it. What we've we done now. Oh, God, yeah. What's going on? Let's try that. I know there's a few fish about here, so uh, let's see if they'll take this.
Nope, not it then. To make sure he's all right and not all dangled up. He's all right. There's a fish. Oh yeah, he walloped that one. This one feels weighty, actually. I wonder if he's going to go again. Oh, no, he's leaving it a bit late if he is. No, he's... Bang. Ah, ooh, nasty hook. No wonder he took it like he did. He's hooked himself in the eye. How unfortunate. And he's gone. This lure's had a right beat and it's all glued up. I think I better look into getting another one of these. He's all right. Right, actually going to drift over the bit I wanted to now. See if there's anything on it. Oh Jesus, he, he whacked that. Come on drag, do your thing. No, he's not having any line away yet, so not a monster. But at least we've seen some fish. on the camera. Let's get back down. All right, I'm going down with a little Savage Gear V2. It's only 15 grams but it seems to be getting me there at the moment because we ain't got a lot of drift sorts of conditions you dream of out here today it's not the fishing you dream of <laughs> Go 
Oh, it's banging. Oh, and he's off. <laughs> That's a good fish. I hope this one stays on. He didn't like it when he saw the light. Nice. That'd be him. Yeah. Pollock. Ooh. That's not a bad one. That's table worthy. Yeah. Lovely. Come here, you. There, hopefully we can see that. See if we can get a picture. Oh, that is a fish. Ah, well, come on, drag. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't think that was a fish then, thought I had bottom. Bad fish. Any fish will do at this point. I've been out here so long without anything. What have we got? There's a pollock. That's not too bad. Yeah. Right. I'm going to hold it up here for a quick look. I don't think he's coming home. He can go back. Welcome sight though. There he is. Should have a picture. Right, I'm gonna have a bash here. I don't fish here very often. Gonna change it up every now and again, aren't you? There does appear to be some fish around. According to my fishy finder. So I'll just run a couple of drifts. There's a couple of peaks. Um and I might run a few drifts up the middle of them and see if anything happens. Well, that's a whoop. That's a fish. <laughs> that's a fish on the drop. I thought I had a knock just before. That was exciting. Oh look! Wow, that's a hell of a ras. We've mullered that. He's also got a pretty weird. Head. Well, that's interesting. The elephant rat. Get him up me and have a look at him. Yeah. All right, we're recording. We're recording. Well, it's a nice wrath, apart from his face. I was thinking earlier, actually, you know, not even a wrath, where are they two? That's the good side. That's, wah, and he's away. <laughs> so 
So by this time I'd been out on the water about five hours and uh, I've pedaled a very long way all over the place, swapped out lures loads of times, tried lots of different spots and uh, my head camera battery went out so I lost my decent audio so the audio from this point is rubbish. Um, I did actually catch a bass on my last drift which is about 52 centimeters but um, yeah batteries had run out and I forgot to take a picture when I got back ashore I just filleted it up and uh, bunged it in the freezer but the uh, trolley modifications the balloon wheels that I did uh, a week or two back were fantastic pulling it up the beach all over all those cobbles and rocks and that has never been so easy so I'm really happy that I made that modification even though it you know was a bit costly cost about 100 quid yeah altogether about 100 quid but as I launch mainly from Porthal stock and quite often from Mullion which again is you know pretty rough on the on the trolley I think that's going to be well worth the money uh, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time cheers for now